Hello Poetry Pals, welcome back to another video. Uh, I've got some really exciting things coming up uh, next week. Well actually, whilst this video is coming out, I will be at the Hip Yak Poetry School uh, learning all about how to step my game up in terms of making a career as a poet and I will be vlogging that experience and sharing that with you. So please make sure you subscribe to make sure you catch that video. But this week I am writing a reverse poem and I am going to teach you how to do it. Uh, this is the first time I've done a request and uh, the request was given to me by Malaika, uh, Malaika Kagodi, who is a Bristol based poet and event producer. I am open to requests. I do have another request which is to do a how to write a Sistina that is coming um, but Sistinas are really hard and I'm having to do a lot of research into how to do that uh, so please bear with. For now we are going to do a reverse poem. A reverse poem is a poem that you can read top to bottom and it means one thing and then you read it backwards and it means another thing. A great example of this is Jonathan Reed's Lost Generation which if you read um, the right way through from top to bottom it has a pretty pessimistic view of the world and what life is like and then you get to the bottom and it tells you to choose to reverse it and if you read it backwards it gives you an entirely different outlook, far more optimistic to read. Po a reverse poem is a poem that you can read forwards and backwards and it makes sense but also means two different things. Uh, yeah, so you get it. It's hard. Without further ado, let's get into it. Step one, you've got to come up with an idea. Now obviously it's our idea is we're going to write a reverse poem but you kind of need to know what you're talking about anyway. You could go for something quite big and political and, you know, defining our generation, like Jonathan Reed's poem, um, Lost Generation. Uh, you could write it about your school friends. Or it's worth saying that I spent um, a lot of time researching this and the most useful article I found is Pen and the Pad and you should definitely check that out and I'll leave a link in the description below. My idea is coming from uh, a poetry prompt group that I am a part of and my prompt was the smell of the season uh, and so I'm going to think about the ways that I can um, it doesn't have to be opposing views, but make it different. The next step after you've got your idea is finding a space to write, and I am back on my living room floor. Uh, I would love to be somewhere else, but currently my house is being redone and that's not happening. So, back on my living room floor, and I'm ready to go. I'm actually really thirsty, so make sure your space to write is well fed and watered. I will be right back. The next step is to actually read a reverse poem. Um, I feel like this is good advice for any uh, form that you're trying to write, is actually read the poems that you are trying to emulate. Um, this is a good point that I haven't included in any of my videos before and it wasn't until I was reading Pen and the Page and they were like, how about you read the poem, read a form of the poem you're gonna write? And I was like, wow, that's a good idea. Thank you, pen and the page. So go and read a poem that is a reverse poem. I hands down recommend Jonathan Reed's Lost Generation, uh, definitely a good one. And when you're reading that poem, uh, have a little look at how it's constructed. You might find that some, every other line is a generic, line that hasn't got to do with the subject matter of the poem. I tell you this, it doesn't mean that is better than. Things like that. Uh, what I keep trying to call connected line, connective lines. 
this is really important to like understand so go and read the poem i'll um the poem that i'm talking about is available online so i'll chuck a link in the description below for you to have a go now we're going to move on to our mind map and i am going to start with the center of my mind map being sound of the season on one side i want to start listing complete phrases of about my subject, both positive and negative, or whichever turn you're trying to be. Uh, I am going to go for a bit more of an easier positive and negative vibe. Um, and just write down those phrases. Um, so, I don't know, spring is better than winter, um, or that sort of thing, okay? So, mind map, come up with completed phrases related to the subject, and mark where you could use enjambement. Enjambment is when a line break happens part way through a sentence or clause. So um, when you're coming up with these complete phrases, uh, do a dash or something to mark where you could break them up. And then come up with your connecting lines as well and come up with all of your possibilities. Um, really take your mind, time on this mind map because it's going to really help in a bit. Okay, let's go. Okay, once you have completed your mind map, I am feeling very nervous because I don't think I've done enough, but we'll see. This is the bit, the most useful bit. What you need to do then is having marked your moments of enjambement, then you can write your lines onto bits of paper um, use scrap paper because come on let's be sustainable um, and then uh, instead of stitching from a free write we're stitching using these bits of paper to play around with it um, and have a go so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to write some of my lines on here and see if I can come up with a poem out of it Okay, so once you have written your poem, uh, your lines on the sheets, you then want to uh, lay them out and try and arrange them into a poem um, and then uh, make sure it makes sense going backwards as it does forwards. So I thought I would share with you um, my first draft of this poem please forgive me it is a first draft and I wanted to keep it quite simple for myself so this is not the most revolutionary reverse poem I'll be honest with you uh, so here it is as green shoots peak through long dead earth we hold on to each other lying in fresh fields of new life we are all surrounded by the smell of possibility so that's way one Way two. Surrounded by the smell of possibility, we are all in fresh fields of new life, lying to each other. We hold on through dead earth as green shoots peak. So, I'll be honest with you. It didn't quite end up being as, uh, you know, uniquely positive and then uniquely negative. Um, mainly because I found myself when I've been reading all of these reverse poems um, they started feeling really obvious to me that that was like you cannot say that and stuff like that um, so I wanted to do one that just flowed in both directions and I think that manages it and I think it has some sort of um, 
ominous vibe to it. So the next steps as you would do would be to write it out neat and then to tweak and edit. Ask yourself, have you said it in the best way you can? Not just the first way that comes to mind, but have you come up with the best way of saying that piece. You can then move on to the next steps of revising it, editing it and workshopping it, uh, reading it out loud. I think uh, reverse poems would be a really interesting thing uh, to do live in front of an audience uh, to see if people notice that. But yes, the reverse poem. There you go. Uh, have a go at it. If you want to leave your um, version of your poem in the comments down below. I look forward to reading them and or seeing them online or putting them wherever you put them. I'm looking forward to hearing it. So that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please make sure you like this video and um, subscribe to my channel and do all of the usual YouTube things. As I said, next week I will be at the Hip Yak Poetry School and I will be uh, vlogging my experiences so you can catch up on that next week. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if there is a particular uh, form of poetry that you would like me to do a video on or anything surrounding poetry or anything that you would like me to make a how-to video on and I will try my best. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all next week. Thanks very much. Bye!